Are you looking for the best instant tents for camping? In this video we will look at some of the 6 best instant tents for camping on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Gazelle T4 Hub Tent The Gazelle T4 Hub Tent is my top instant camping tent not just because it has the best overall score, but also because it scored really well in almost every single test I threw at it. Here's a neat table showing you all the test scores of each tent. Notice how the Gazelle has almost every single test in green. Also, it has one of the top scores when it comes to the ease of use test, and the top score for the spaciousness test, which are two of the most important things when it comes to instant tents. Unlike all the other instant tents in this review, the Gazelle has a removable flooring. So, when packing away the Gazelle, the air comes out super easily, making it easy to compress and stuff it back into the carry bag. It took me just one minute to strip out the entire floor completely and then I could just lay it flat on the ground to hose or wipe off any dirt. Also, I found that my gazelle could pop open in less than 2 minutes. This doesn't include staking and guying it out though. By far, the easiest instant tent to use. When it comes to spaciousness, the gazelle tops again, because it has the highest peak height of all the other instant tents in this review and it's the only instant tent that has completely vertical walls. Number 2. Core Equipment Instant Cabin 9 First, the Core Instant Tent is the least expensive of the three tents. I paid slightly over $200 for the Core, while the other two tents cost me more than $300 a piece. And yet, I found the instant mechanism to still be high quality, better than the Coleman's, and almost on par with the outdoor products. The poles are made of sturdy steel, and there are a whopping three hubs at the top of the tent to hold the tent body up. Second, the core tent packs away the most easily of the three tents, thanks to the much bigger carry bag. I was actually quite frustrated while trying to pack away the other two tents, because each had a smaller carry bag. Third, the core has the best hot day ventilation of all three tents because it has big windows on every wall of the tent. Number 3. Outdoor Products Instant Cabin 10 If you don't really like the core, you can consider the runner-up instant tent for large groups instead, which is the Outdoor Products 10-person instant cabin tent. It has a bigger base area, 135.8 square feet, than the core, 118.1 square feet, and it fits four queen beds instead, but with no floor space left, while the core only fits two queens. I noticed that both the core and outdoor products have the exact same instant setup mechanism. Perhaps that's why both these tents have the exact same setup timing of 12 minutes each. The poles are identical, the three hubs at the top are identical, and they even came with the exact same product tags. This is just my guess but maybe they got shipped out from the same factory. Number 4. Coleman Dark Room Instant Cabin 10 The last of my instant tents for large groups is the Coleman 10-person instant cabin tent, and it's really not a great instant tent, for these few reasons. First, the instant tent mechanism is not great, with only one single hub at the top of the tent. In contrast, the other two large instant tents both had three hubs each. Also, it's a rather floppy tent, and tends to not be stable in the wind, because of the single hub. However, the Coleman tends saving grace is that it did top all the other tents in the features test, and that's mainly because of the phenomenal blackout fabric. Coleman does a really good job when it comes to their blackout, dark room tents. Here's what the Coleman 10 looks like in the day. Apart from the little bit of light seeping in through the gap between the roof and the rainfly, and also from the bathtub flooring at the bottom of the tent. I think this is really great for sleeping in. Number 5. Coleman Instant Cabin 46. If the Gazelle and Caddis Rapid are out of your budget, and you don't need a humongous family tent, which rules out the core and outdoor products as well, then the smaller Coleman Instant Cabin tents actually come in handy here. For myself, I bought the four-person Coleman Instant Cabin tent and I paid slightly over $100 for it. That's a really inexpensive price point. Like the Coleman 10, 
This Coleman 4 also has a single hub, but since it's a much smaller tent, it doesn't suffer from the same issues as the 10 person, no droopy fabric, no ridiculously slanted walls, etc. In fact, the Coleman Instant 4 is basically an O'Frills budget instant tent, which makes it the quickest tent to set up and tear down. I found the door to the Coleman 4 really tiny, there's no power port in this tent. It doesn't have windows on every wall of the tent, like most other instant tents do, and this is also the only instant tent that doesn't have ceiling mesh. Number 6. Ozark Trail Dark Rest Instant 6. The Ozark Trail Dark Rest Instant 6 is another blackout tent I tested for this review. I really like that it's very affordable, it sets up and packs away pretty easily. The timings are decent, see above and it could be laid flat on the ground for easy cleaning as well. But otherwise, there's nothing great about it, and it was the tent that I didn't like the most, for four main reasons. The first reason is the very low peak height, I have never seen another six-person instant cabin tent that is so short. The second reason is that it's definitely not great in rain, one of my union sealed seams got drenched after just 15 minutes of light rain. Third. Ventilation isn't the best because the windows are pretty small, and not all walls in the tent have windows. And the fourth reason, is that the shelf life of this tent is kind of short. After less than two years in storage, my dark rest fabric started peeling off, and every time I touched the tent, my fingers became a huge sticky mess, and I found it really gross.